Hello, today we're going to be working on an activity that will help us build relationship skills while helping us to brainstorm ways that we can help solve conflicts in our community. So the first part of this activity is for you to read a book called One Plastic Bag, and it's about Isa Tusise and what she did for her community in Africa. This is a true story. So you can read the story a few different ways. You could order the book if you'd like, you could download the book on a device, or you can go to YouTube and you can search One Plastic Bag, and there will be several options that are available for you to listen to and read along with the book. So after you read the book in whatever manner works best for you, you will then complete a conflict map. So there is an example of a conflict map um, attached in the lesson plan that is on the Learning to Give website, or you could build your own. So the three questions you need to ask yourself is what is the conflict in the book? What is the problem that ISA2 is trying to solve? So you can write complete sentences if you'd like, you could make a bulleted list with phrases and words, or if you'd rather, you could draw pictures. Then after you figure out what that problem was, you will then ask yourself about what ways could ISA2 solve this. By the end of the book, you know what she chose to do. However, please think of other ways that she could have solved the problem. Use your thinking and think about ways you, you could have solved the problem other than the way that ISA2 solved it. And again, you'll list those here in complete sentences or phrases or pictures. Then finally, ask yourself, why does this conflict occur? What caused the problem? Again, list the reasoning and reasons on why this problem occurred. Again, thinking through ISA 2's conflict this way allows you to think through your own conflicts this way. You won't always sit down and write, write the answers to these questions on a conflict map. However, as you're problem solving issues in your community and trying to build relationships with others in your community, you can ask yourself, what is the problem? What's going on here? What are some ways I can help solve this problem? And why did this happen? Because you, when you know why it happened, that allows you to be proactive and solve the problem prior. So again, use these question stems and helping yourself build relationships with the community and other people in the community, and also brainstorming ways that you can help solve conflicts and problems in your community. I hope you have a great day.